One common way to think of equations is to visualize them as balance scales, where the equal sign is the center of the balance scale, and then what's on the left of the equation, what's on the right of the equation, those are the weights that go on our balance scale. Now in this case, let's start with the right side. Equal sign is our middle, so 9 means we're going to put 9 weights on the right hand side of this balance scale. And of course, just like you'd expect, our balance scale tilts to the right because there's nothing on the left side yet. So there's 9, 3, 6, 9. Now, on the other side of the equal sign, I've got x plus 3. Well, the 3, that would mean 3 blocks. But then x, x basically represents some mystery weight. It's a physical weight we can put over here, but we don't know how much it weighs. Now, in this case, it balances things, balances things out. Now, the reason why people think of equations as balance scales is because if you use a little logic, we can pretty much get our answer. And we want to basically ask ourselves the question, what can we get rid of from this picture that might make life a little easier? So hopefully what you thought of is that, well, you know what? Since I've got x plus 3 weights on this side, and then I've got 9 weights on this side, what we could do, yet keep the balance scale still level, is to subtract 3 from both sides. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take away these three tiles, and that's going to be okay because as long as I do it to the other side of the balance scale, everything still stays balanced and they still equal each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3. So notice how three tiles disappear here, three tiles disappear here, and there's my answer. Our mystery weight is equal to six tiles, or six weights. So x equals six. All right, so let's take a look at another example. In this case, one that deals with subtraction. Now, it's going to get a little trickier because of the nature of subtraction, but we're still going to try to the same approach. First off, realize that to represent this equation, 6 equals x minus 2. The equal sign is the fulcrum point. It's the middle of the balance scale. So the 6 blocks that I pull out go over here. Then the equal sign. Now x, just like in the last example, represents some block of some mystery weight. And it weighs it down. Now in this case, minus 2 is a little different. If this was plus 2, I'd add more, two more blocks. But basically, minus 2 is saying, take away two blocks, or take away the effect of two blocks. Now in the way we're going to represent this initially is we're going to use balloons. If one block weighs something down, then one balloon counteracts that weight and pulls upwards. So if I pull, put two balloons out here, it's basically counteracting the weight of two blocks and it evens out my balance scale. So something minus two is equal to six. Now, this is where again it gets a little trickier because we don't have balloons on this side to cancel out to make these two disappear, but that's what we'd like to have happen. We'd like these two balloons to disappear so that I'm just left with x and that will tell me what x is equal to on the other side. Now the way we want to think of this is we may not be able to physically get rid of the two balloons, but we can get rid of their effect. Their effect is to pull up with a weight of two. So what we're going to do is to counteract that, we're going to add two blocks to both sides. So by adding two blocks to this side, the effect of the two balloons will cancel out, and then as long as I do it to the other side, I should be fine. So let's click go. So my two balloons, the effect of those balloons disappeared, and I counteract the missing balloons. Two tiles got added over here, and we get our answer. 8 equals x, or x equals 8. So this is the idea that we're going to try to work on today. And this gets at something, the idea that we always want to keep our equations balanced. And you'll see something about that in the next slide. Okay, so we've just finished up with our balance scales, and now we want to sort of formalize this so we understand some of the rules that we're actually applying here. Now, in our balance scale uh, scenario, we're looking at keeping things balanced. What we were really using was the mathematical addition property of equality. And what the property of equality says is that adding the same number to each side of an equation, so let's say our, our equation is a equals b, there's one side of the balance scale and there's the other, and they're, they're balanced, that adding the same number to each side of the equation produces an equivalent equation meaning that if I just choose to add c number of blocks to one side and c number of blocks to the other, it's still balanced and it still represents the equivalent equation to the original. The same thing goes for subtraction. The subtraction property of equality is that 
when subtracting the same number from each side of an equation produces an equivalent equation. So once again, if I start off with a balanced scale that has a equal to b, then a minus c should still be equal to b minus c. As long as I do, one, do something to one side of the equation and I do it to the other side of the equation, everything remains balanced, just like our balanced scales. All right, so let's see what this looks like in terms of our work. We're going to be doing some work with these one-step equations involving addition and subtraction, and we want to apply the property of equality. 